Guys, go check out our Patreon where you can get our daily morning show and next week's episode. Welcome back to the basement yard. Danny, how's it going today? Doing well. Doing well. Trying to not say good as much. Why? You know, like, oh, like, I'm doing good. It's I'm good. To, it's supposed to be like I'm doing well. I'm trying to clean Where? up my... Tr- I'm trying to, like, clean up my English and shit. Why? You going to, like, a royal tea party or some shit? No, I, I, I've really had an epiphany that, like, I make myself sound very dumb. Yeah. But then I also arrived at another epiphany that I'm actually dumb. So you've just been, like, epiphanying all day. Bro, I've had epiphanies this whole week. This has been epiphany week. Yeah. Nice. You know? So you've just, you just been epiphanying. Yeah, I've been epiphanying uh, all over the place. I've been epiphany. I, I, I'm at the peak of my epiphanies. Yeah. So, like. That's what that is. Yeah. But uh, it's supposed to be. Oh, another thing. So you fa- think you're dumb. You think you have a stupid vocabulary. I don't think I have, like, a stupid doo-doo dumb brain. What, what I think is, like, I choose to be dumb when i speak at time to- sometimes right so like i'll say like me and joe instead of joe and i like all the time so you think you're doing that purposefully or are you just you are you dumb i think it started out as dumb or do you think you're so dumb that you can't even figure it out i think i'm so dumb that it's hard for me to figure out honestly like <sighs> This is this is a sad thing about epiphanies because you have to take a deep look inside yourself and realize how fucking stupid you are. Yeah. But, but you know, uh, I just think that it started out as a joke and then evolved into actual certified dumbness. Yeah. You know, like, um, I, but I will say, I do have a lot of, like, useless knowledge that makes me somewhat smart. This conversation is so dumb. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, I'm just, but I'm just saying, like, do you ever have days where you feel like, you, like you'll look at yourself and be like, yo, like, I'm a dumb person. No. You've never had, a, to, never had a day like that? Oh, I've had, I've in you know, I don't feel like that now. I feel like I've, you know. Grown out of it. I, by the way, I'm currently doing something, not like in this second, but I'm currently doing something that I really don't even want to tell you about. Okay. That's great for the show. Because you... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll tell you. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me. But you can't tell anyone. <laughs> I promise. I, pr- I promise. What have you been doing? I'll tell you. Tell me. I'll be your best friend. You remember you just offer up your best friend for secrets all the time when you were younger? Yeah. And like, yo, tell me. I'll be your best friend. And the person was like, all right, fine. Dude, the success <laughs> the success rate on I'll be your best friend might be like somewhere around 88 to 92 percent. Oh, my God. Yes, dude. So all the time. Successful. I would even offer that to my best friend. Like, I would tell Frankie and be like, yo, I'll be your best friend. And like, I'm already your best friend. You're not gaining anything. And then I get the secret. So I want I want the secret. We all want the secret. Give us the goddamn secret, you bitch. Give us the goddamn secret. <laughs> Give me the goddamn page. What's that from? I don't know. Oh, it's from uh, True Lies. Oh, True Lies. Speaking of True Lies, I saw the True Lies bridge. Remember the one they the blow? The bridge is out! <laughs> <laughs> That's a great scene, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's Jamie keys. Lee Curtis's tits in that movie were so pointy, dude. Yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis. Her tits. Ah, uh, was she a hermaphrodite? I feel like I heard that. That's like the big rumor that she was a math, but I don't know if that's true or not. You didn't think she she was Hermy? I mean, I saw her titties. Me too. I saw them numerous times. Also, wouldn't matter. Jamie Lee Curtis, especially in the True Lies days. Hello. How Hell you yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Bring whatever you got. It da- doesn't even matter. Dancing her ass off. Oh no no no! Do it. Do it, do, it. <laughs> do it slow. If no one knows that movie, which I'm assuming a lot of people don't, like they have no idea what we're talking about. But all you need to know is Jamie Lee Curtis tits, Arnold Schwarzenegger being Arnold, helicopters, Arnold. explosions. All you need to yeah. know. Great, and like, great film. La- laser guns and stuff. Hell yeah! Fucking cool. What was that other Arnold Schwarzenegger movie that it was like the end of the world or something? He was like, it's like he's like I'm fighting the devil. Oh, I don't like a Terminator. They're no, all like no. He literally world. fights Satan. I think I think it's called Judgment something. He fights the devil. He fights the devil on like Christmas Jesus. Eve or some shit. 
Because <laughs> that's when you would fight the devil. I yeah. Mean, that's yeah. Jesus' birthday. You know, he always comes out and tries to wreak havoc on his birthday. Hell yeah. Don't You're getting farther and farther away from the secret. I'm not going to let you go. Oh, yeah. No, I'm glad you said that because I forgot what I was saying. But uh, you remember how I, – I don't know if I mentioned it on this show, but, like, I wanted – like, have an interest in, like, psychology or whatever. Yeah. I found out that you can take free online courses. So I, right now I'm taking a, a – a intro to psychology class through Yale. Do you know how pretentious I am going to be in the coming weeks? What was what was like the uh, like? What did you need to take the class? Nothing. They didn't ask you if you went to high school or college. Nothing. No, no, no. It's it's on a site. They they recorded like a whole semester of lectures for in two thousand seven. And it's the intro to psych class, and you could just take it. Like, they have it all on video, and you just do it at your own pace, and they have, like, a midterm exam, and they have a finals exam. From 2007? Yeah. At one point, at one point in the class, the guy actually said, uh, you know, there, there is no – because he's I, talking about, like, neurotransmitters and, like, all this shit. And then he was saying, there's no technology right now that can just recognize your face. And I'm like, oh, man, we're there, bud. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we made it, dude. Don't you're, worry. You're going to be the smartest person in 2007 in 2020. If we go back in time. <laughs> like, I'm in a time machine right now in 2007, and I go to Yale, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, this is what's happening. You go to you Yale know? so hard. Uh, I go to Yale. Uh, honestly, I'm going to go on their store and just buy a bunch of Yale stuff and tell people I went there. I was I was going to sign up for um, these classes at the University of Miami. Uh, it is so expensive. It's college. Yeah. I was like, this is why I didn't go to college. Well, there's other reasons. But th- yeah, this is because I didn't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was like, I don't know how kids afford this. And by but kids, also, I mean their beer. parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, beer, beer. That's the craziest thing that I know that if I went to college now, I'd be good. But would I? Yeah, I don't know. I don't the know. The attention span on you is not sick. I'm not. What'd you say? I said the attention span on you is not sick. Uh, I fell for it. Uh, uh, I feel like an idiot now. I don't know. I've just been having the, like, that's another epi- epiphanization that I had. Is that, <laughs> is that, uh, I realized that, like, there's, like, other things. Like, if I went to school now, I'd be able to pick a major. Like, I know what I would want to do. Yeah, but I also just have no interest in, like, anything else. Like, I like psychology, and that's why I'm like, oh, this would be cool to learn about it, you know? It's kind of the equivalent of, like, having, like, an, like an audio book playing in your ears or whatever. But, but you get to watch this dude teach the class, you know? And you're getting... But if I had to take fucking, you know, 1800s art class or whatever the fuck, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. The fact that... Like, you have prerequisites? Is that the word? Mm-hmm. Prerequisites. It's like, why do you have to take math to, like, get into your major? Who gives a shit? I don't know. I don't understand. Dude, when I went, my semester in college that I had an English class, I got an A in it. We were learning about commas. I wanted to just get in front of the class and be like, guys, if you didn't know commas by now, pack it up. Yeah. Like, just go home. Yeah. What are you doing in here? <laughs> we're learning about the comma. Are you fucking kidding me? Also, why are we teaching about the semicolon? When are we using that? Never. Very sparingly do, you know, do we use do a you, semicolon. Do you know when they use a semicolon? No, I have no idea. And I've, been, I've made it this far, and I've, no one's ever been like, you should use a semicolon there. Dude, Never. I, for years, I would put A, just A, before a vowel. Instead of an. Oh, you, yeah, but that... <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> like, I would be like... Uh yeah, so I was with a employee. A oh yeah okay. A of elephant. An employee. I was with an elephant. I mean, I get how that I was comes with across a, in I was speech. With, I was with a monkey. That's not it. That would be the right it. That'd oh yeah, the right thing. Oh yeah, that's right. Do you yeah. not know vowels either? Did no, you skip, no. Did you go at any class? <laughs> yes, I did. I went to some. This but, guy was cut in <laughs> kindergarten. <laughs> the fuck. When when is why a vowel? I, I still don't know. <laughs> Wait, what? Why, I forget. Why is a vowel sometimes? I don't know when. Wait. 
I do, is it? Yes. Why is a vowel sometimes, unless they got rid of it, like how they got rid of Pluto as a planet? Uh, yeah. It says the letter Y can be regarded as both a vowel and a consonant. Why? No pun I don't intended. know, dude. I don't know how anyone learns the English language because it's like we have the same word and it's like two things. That's, you know what, I'm what are those called? Not acronyms. What? S- when they have... S- similes? No, I think similes aren't like the... Si- Wait, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I think it is simile. Like which and which? Yeah, like come on. Like come on. I bro. get it like you could see it, but when you're talking, it's like... Which you know, which? If it was my second language and someone's like, you know, which one? I'd be like, there's a witch in here? Yeah. <laughs> That's scared for a second. You'd be like, where? Where is this witch? <laughs> where's which one? And also, where's which two? I see you put some new art in the background. I don't know if you could see it on your camera. A little bit. I mean, it's just like a three-panel thing of, like, New York City. It's such a big thing now, like, panel art. I'm not crazy about it because I had to hang three things. Like, yeah. I, would, I like just hanging one thing. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I hate when furniture comes in pieces. Like, when my couch came and it came in pieces, I hated that. Whatever just happened, the whole thing's. You can't get a couch in one shot. All right. Through a door. Yeah, you can. But another thing, too, is why... Couches we... should fold. Couches can we say sh- that? Yeah, there should be a hinge. There should be a hinge folded up in, a, like, a carrying briefcase kind of thing. Yes. Or Work like, on the technology. Or, like, how people... You can get a, a mattress delivered to you in a suction cup box. Why can't yeah. You, why can't you get a couch that just unfolds? Vacuum my couch into a bag that I could put in my purse. Have you seen those TikToks of people getting vacuum sucked? What? Like people will sit in a trash bag and they'll put a vacuum in there and suck it till it's like skin tight. Can't you die like that? I pro- it's the popo. Looking for me, probably. probably I'm not. down here, you dumb idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, the thing I wanted to bring up, and I, and I was going to bring it up last week, but I forgot, is mm-hmm. I read this in New York Post article that... The government is basically saying that couples should wear masks during sex. There was a new study. Like right? doctor's masks or like BDSM with a zipper around the mouth mask? See, that's what I was going to get into, but it says that you should wear like a doctor's mask when you're about to smash. Mask, <sighs> then smash. I don't know, dude. Like, my stamina is pretty good, but when I have sex, like, I need to breathe, dude. I oh, can't yeah. Cover this. I got to breathe I need a breaths. lot. Do you sweat? Oh, yeah. Like an animal. I sweat easily, though. I-, I could sweat right now if I, like, really want, like, if I just sit here and think about it, I could start sweating. Yeah, if it gets past minutes five, boy's drenched. Oh, I mean, I'm. <laughs> I'm not, like, drenched, but I'm definitely in there. Also, speaking of sweat, swamp ass kind of thing, the other day I was in the shower. Man, the algae between my butt cheeks is growing, cuz. Because it's like, yo, honestly, this is the first time in my life I was, like, cleaning my ass, and then I was like, I could feel hair. Mm -hmm. Because usually I've had one of those asses that, like, you would have to do a spread job and also like in order to see... You know the hair and the forest that you know lies between, uh, but now I think it's making its way out. Like you're becoming, you know you're becoming a man. You ever go to like a lake that you've been to all the time, and then one summer you're like, "Damn, you know, the seaweed's just mad long this yeah. year." It's kind of like that. Well, the thing so, also is like, if you have, see, you know, I, I've recently cl- waxed my asshole, but like knowing that your asshole has nothing on it. It's it's the first time probably since I was a baby that I've had a hairless asshole. I'd be worried about like wiping, like slipping, like going too fast. No, because like it's probably I've, so slick, like no, a Barbie's ass. See, I thought that. Now I'm in like like day like five or six, so like I could feel like uh, it's it's not as as slippery as it used to be. Now there's like some tension there. You know, you what get I mean? some traction. Traction. I said tension. Of course, there's yeah, tension. Some friction. Some friction. But yeah. uh, I would have thought my asshole would be way itchier than it is now, but it's not. Thank God, dude. That would be terrible. Have you had a moment at all wearing a mask in public where you're like, okay, this is it. I'm going to pass out and die. I tried to wear a mask on one of my runs once. And I was like, I, this is going to, I know the mask is like, 
you know, I'm trying to prevent from getting other people sick or whatever, but I'm going to die. I'm going to pass out. I can't breathe. It's Every- like being suffocate. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I just pushed my foot my ear. It's oh. like being suffocated. I can't wear it for more than like 10 minutes. Like I'll ha- I- I've left stores because I couldn't breathe because I'm breathing in just like carbon dioxide. Is that the right one? You are correct. Yes. You know what's on Netflix now? Fucking Jeopardy. Dude, I've been watching Jeopardy. They you know, have I, like those three. They have it like they don't even have seasons. They have three people that were dominant Wilson, and have all their episodes. Something Wilson, right? I don't know. That, there's that one fat white dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the glasses. So he's like, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yo, oh, God. Yo, Alex Trebek is low key a fucking asshole. Dude. Yeah, he is a dick. Alex Trebek is like low key. One of those kids in high school, I was like fucking nerd because he'll we he has to interview everyone after that first round. And he's like, so what do you do? And some woman's just like, you know, I actually like to con- collect nail polish. And he's like, ha, 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 fucking gay. Yeah. And then he'll go to the next person. <laughs> like he always makes like a comment like that. That's like weird. It's, it's so funny. Like that one famous one that went viral, and he was just he's like, so so losers. Like she was like, you know, the type of people that do that. And he's like, yeah, losers. He literally says that. I think he accidentally like did it with like a Indian person once too, did or like what? or like an Asian person, and it was like an Asian or Indian question, and he was like, "Oh, that one hurts." Like it's tough to like <laughs> not get that one. I was just like, "Oh, Alex." Yeah, it's like, "Ah, yeah. oh, mom and dad are gonna be mad about that." All right, you got five hundred. <laughs> I wonder if people are actually really practicing though, like this safest approach they said the safest approach to sexual activity is not having any i hate that i hate when people say that i know it's like that's the thing you say to like second graders like your first sex ed class or whatever yeah it's like when a teacher like puts their hands on their knees and like gets down to like eye level with you and tells you that yeah it's like the best way to not have an std is to not have sex and then i hate that other thing it's like hey when you're gonna talk to children get on your knees and talk to them in their eyes i'm like all right they're like i'm like it's a little weird though no like i'm gonna turn myself into a half person to have a conversation with this person that's not even gonna remember this conversation (laughs) a half person you know what i mean yeah i mean also i got bad knees i just don't i I just don't want to make eye contact with children that hard i don't want to stare into a children's face it's not for me it's not for me i don't know the last time I looked at a child's eyes. That wasn't a baby. Yeah, babies look at you because they're still trying to figure out the world and they want to know, like, what's going on. But I'm saying, like, a fucking six-year-old? I haven't made eye contact with a six-year-old in maybe years. Dude, you're going to love it. I haven't. <laughs> dude, I haven't. I, there's not a whole bunch of six-year-olds in this neighborhood. No, no, no. And if you got so, down on your knees and started talking to one, someone would probably call the authorities. Yeah, I'd be, you know, I'd be in a, I'd be booked in a minute for do you, that. Do you think you could completely uh, ejaculate while wearing Wait, a doctor's mask? this can't happen. I mean, we have to have something in between these conversations. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I forgot. Children. You can't say, get on a knee, talk to a child, and then you're like, do you think you could ejaculate? No, I was going back. Yeah, all right. So, uh, but what, what were you going to say? I was going to say, can you think you could fully ejaculate with a doctor's mask on? And then also your other your partner is wearing a mask. Dude, I could ejaculate with a helmet, like anything on. <laughs> also, I heard that when you're like suffocating and coming, it's more fire. Yeah, erotic asphyxiation. asphyxiation. I can't pronounce that without, you know, almost gagging. Asphyxiation. This shows you how dumb I was. And I think this is c- contributes to how stupid I am. Um... I used to wrap a sock around my neck. And jerk off? No, not jerk off. Uh, I used to, for, when I was little, this is a true story. Just get to it. I would just, I would wrap a sock around my neck until I would almost pass out. Cause it would make Wait, your, for no reason? Yeah, because it would make your head feel like all like, like tingly and stuff. Ask, any. ask ask my brother Mike. Ask anybody. For some Why, reason. Because they would just sit around and watch you almost no, kill yourself? They stopped me. They stopped me. They were like, yo, what are you doing? I was like, I don't know. It just feels good. <laughs> <laughs> I 
thought you were wrapping that sock around your neck and then beating it. No, 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 because the sock would go this way and you would have to hold it with two hands. Yeah. People are going to think this is made up and that's perfectly fine, but it's 100% true. I almost want to call my brother Mike and ask him, but I know he won't answer. How but big were these socks? They were just like, I think they were my dad's socks. Tubes? Tubes? Yeah, yeah, my dad was a tube guy. Yeah, my dad was a tube guy too. Your dad was a tube guy. But my yeah, dad I- has never worn socks that don't go up past your calf <laughs> seriously yeah i don't know what it was it was like a month thing that for a month of your life you were just decided you're gonna try and suffocate yourself i was addicted to like wrapping a sock around my neck i don't know what so that was i want to go into erotic expectation no i don't think i could dude i'm too fucking hypo like too hypo for that i guess my kid wraps sock around his neck i think i looked up an article on it you're Googling it, this? You could have just wrote person. You didn't have to throw children into the mix. You yeah, got yeah, some yeah. weird articles, you know? Might want to backspace that before the FBI comes knocking. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It, it was like, uh, remember the pass out game where you make your friends pass out and shit? I've seen that happen, and I was like, I, and I remember thinking this is incredibly fucking stupid. Yeah, so like, it was basically like doing that to yourself to the brink of not passing out. So basically, I was just like brain coming, I think. No, I think you were just stupid. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if that had any impact on like how like my brain is now. Oh, yeah, it did. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do uh, uh, all uh, June 2012? <laughs> I choked myself. <laughs> I think I was in like, June 2012. Yeah, see, so he was 23 years old. <laughs> no, no, no. I think uh, I think I was around like 12. I think I was around like, yeah, 11 or 12, fifth or sixth grade. Wait, 12? You're like in eighth grade. No, you? you're th- you're 13 when you're in eighth grade. Fifth grade, you're t- fifth grade, you're tenth. Sixth grade, you're 11. Got it. But yeah, so for some reason, I was just I don't know what was going on. I was, and then I remember I told my dad about it, and he flipped out. Oh, yeah, he's probably like, what is my son doing? Yeah, he's like this fucking freak just brain-numbing himself downstairs. Dude, uh, also, now that we're kind of t- sort of talking about this, it kind of fits into... weird shit as a kid, bro. We recorded an episode of Other People's Lives talking to this girl that likes to be hurt during sex, and boy, when she says hurt, she means it. Because the choking thing that you're saying, where it's like, where I was kind of saying, like, you know, people like to you know, try to suffocate and then come at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like that. And she went over like these two different ways to choke people. Is it, was it like the, 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 on the bed frame? Like what are with, you doing? With like a, <laughs> like a, not with a belt, but it's like with like a sheet. What the fuck are you talking about? Never mind. You're choking someone with a sheet? Nah. Now I, now I, now I need to know. Nah. This sounds like you are attempting murder on someone. No, 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 no. Wait, you, wait, what are you talking about? So the there, headboard and a sheet. So you know how the headboard has pegs, right? Yeah. Like people would wrap a sheet around that and like put it around their neck. So the person, the male underneath can tighten it around their throat while they're having sex. I've literally never seen that in my life. Yeah. It's a thing. I, well, yeah, but you made it seem like it was just like a standard way to choke someone. No, I, I just think I thought I thought that was. No. All right, go on. Usually, you just use your fucking hands. Nah. The <laughs> fuck, this kid's building a blanket fort choking contraption. The <laughs> fuck. Weather's pretty nice out. Yeah. So wait, are you building contraptions? I'm not anymore. So you've contrapped. No, someone contracted me. You were contrapted? I was contrapted. By a sheet on a headboard? Yes. So, and you must have loved that, because little sock boy, this is, like, even better, right? You That's why sheet. I didn't want to bring it up, because th- this is probably why it happened. So you like to be choked? No! You like to, you hate breathing. You're, you have I asthma, have, so have, it makes sense. I have asthma. I, uh, I was a, a jewel head. Yeah, you just hate breath. You know, I just hate breathing. I just want my breathing to be difficult. Yeah. Choking during sex is very, very sexual and very, very hot and very, very yeah. intimate and very, very... I feel like you become one when you do that. 
uh, there's a and it's called breath play. You know, so I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna tell the story. All right, it, it was very early on in my sexual career. I was like 19 mm-hmm. years old. All right, um, and this person was like, you know, I like to get choked, right? And there's this scene from this movie. It's like Shakespeare in Love or some shit, where like somebody gets like choked with like a bed sheet. And this person wanted to try it on me and on that person. So I was like, okay. Um, oh, so you guys contracted each other. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. Took turns contracting. Right, right. So it was, I was like 19. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I thought I did. I thought it was sexy. Not sexy at all. Yeah. Borderline, let's just kill each other. That's what it was. Very- very Dexter. Very Dexter. Very Dexter. And it was very strange. So now that's why I thought that was the normal way to do it. Now you got it out of me. I didn't want so, people, I don't want people to think I'm a disgusting freak. You are, but Yeah. Did did you so were you contrapting <laughs> It was like a pulley system. It was like wrapped around our hands and like we would like Oh yeah. It's like a dumb waiter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was like you like I felt like I was like drawing open a curtain. I felt like a fucking, yeah. I felt like human, like, I was like, I turned a human into a puppet. Like, I could make yeah. her dance, so like, she couldn't breathe or dance. Remember that board game Mousetrap, where, like, you'd flick a marble, and then all the shit would happen? You That's exactly you what that. it was, yeah. Right. That's a contraption game. That's a contraption game. It's a great game. Yeah, we would close um, so, the door, and then, like, everything would come into place. So, so that was early on. Uh, did you, like, try to contrapt other people along the way no nah, i just had a bad i just had a bad experience nothing about it was sexual it was just hurting right so we didn't do it right we just like i'm saying like we we attempted to kill each other that's what it was that's kind of hot yeah it's pretty hot <laughs> this girl who we talked to on opl said that she likes to get smacked and like she said six times out of ten when she gets slapped she'll orgasm yeah i mean that so, makes like, sense though yeah, I mean, no, yeah, but she said that, and I was like, how hard are we talking? Like, because, like, you know, I'm saying, you give someone, like, a little, like, you, uh, you fucking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> kind of slap. Or, and what she said. It's like a Manuel goes, Ferrara special. She got slapped, like, you know, just an insane slap. I mean, she said that she had bruising on her face, and there were, like, uh, you know, spaces Welts. in between so you could see the fingers. It was like like this. Like, you get bruised here and here, and there would be a space. Because that's how hard she got hit. Can you imagine what it looked like when this dude, she's like, hit me. And he was just like... <laughs> fucking slapped the shit out of her. Like, I'm afraid to slap this thing. I would have sent it flying, but... Like, with fucking LeBron, like, chasing down Igudala. Oh, my God. <laughs> dude, literally <laughs> pinned her face off the Bow! backboard. And she was just like, Fuck my James! God. Yeah, slapped the shit out of her. I was like, you must have loved that then. And she was like, yeah. I don't know what it is that pain is sexy in the bedroom, but it is. It is. Not because I think it's animalistic. So she'd be like, Ugh! Yeah, Ugh! Like, like, like other animals, like they nibble each other and shit. They bite each other when they fuck yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm basing that on no knowledge. Nah, which is I mean, most of my stuff based on life. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, it's true. I think it's animalistic to just be like, I want to just... Uh. Yeah. You have all this pent-up like emotion or whatever, and you just want to get it out somehow. Usually yeah. that comes with some sort of like violent act. <laughs> you know, it's not always like, hold on, let's set up a quick experiment here I don't, I don't to think choke it, each other. I don't think it's... Yeah, that, that, that's, that took a little more like, you know, we had like contractors come in and try and figure this out. I had a hard yeah. hat on. Yeah, you had to get a permit from the city. Yeah, I had a fucking protractor and shit. I was like trying to figure it out. Once you get the angles down, it's very easy. But, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it was because we saw this movie and they did it in a movie and we tried to. Wait, do why it were you guys before. watching a Shakespearean love story together? Because the, I, I didn't want to watch that shit. So this it's girl, some, it's was... some movie with Heather Graham. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's all. I rem- that's all I remember. Damn, that's and weird. She was like, "I want to try that," and I was like, "Okay." You know what's weird? I don't think I've ever had a sexual experience where someone's like, I really want to try this thing. Oh, that's awesome. But not like it's... Because your sounds is like, how long were you guys like together? Um, A while or no? 
Because that's what I mean. I it mean, was, like, someone it, just it be was like, like, oh, I'm was, into this. It was, like, two or three months, but, like, I knew the, I knew them for a while. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, I don't know. Yeah, it was Not like, that there yeah. hasn't been some things along the road, but there's never been a thing where I was like, what is this? You know, or, like, we need to get, you know, tools I, I, in here. I don't think that that started... I don't think that starts in a person's life until, like, maybe, like, their mid-20s. Because I feel like you have to get, like, all, like, the... like The basics. The prerequisites. Yeah, the pre the prerequis- prerequisites out of the way. Bang. Get nice. the, prere- uh, the prereq sex out. And then that's when you kind of start to discover, like, hey, man, like, I want someone to throw me through a fucking wall. Like, you know? Yeah, like, I want <laughs> someone to, you know... Call you know? me names, yeah. bully me. Yeah, I want someone to give me the fucking rock bottom, like, b- like before I come or whatever. So like, I, yeah. like I get that. Spit in my face. Yeah, people's elbow, whatever. Peeing, peeing is a big thing, and um, peeing, what? peeing is a very common fetish. Common? Yes. It's not more common than the foot. I mean, I see the foot everywhere. Well, the foot fetish is crazy, but like that's yeah. that's more of a, a. I'm talking about doing one to a partner. You just you like pissing on people. Yeah, but there's also guys out there that just like to fuck, like they'll hold feet together and fuck feet. Yeah, that's not cool. What about titty fucking? That's awesome. That's cool. But it's also not like it's awesome to like. In theory, it's so awesome, you know? Yeah, but you got to be Because getting- when you actually do it, it's kind of like, this was cooler when I was thinking about it. Titty fucking is always cooler than b- actual titty fucking, but it also depends. Like, if you're titty fucking with no, like, no one's talking, then that's that's just weird. I think having sex without talking is so strange. There's some people that do that. Like if, if you're not if you're not like calling someone like borderline like horrible names, like what are you doing? But not only that, but like just not saying anything of like you know Well also, even if say what's something. weirder? What what would be weirder if like <laughs> Because I I am also tend to, you know, go to the more aggressive side yeah. uh, when it comes to that yeah. talk. Yeah. But <laughs> what's weirder? No talk at all. Or the like, I love you so much, kind of stuff. Um, I literally couldn't deal with that. I really couldn't. Well, uh, I I think I don't mind like the word love in there, but you have to say like no. you have to say like you love like something like other than me. <laughs> don't love me. <laughs> no, I don't even mind that. I I mean like it just being this like cute thing. Oh, just like making like, love? Just be like, I love you so you're much. You're just so pretty in this light. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. What the fuck? It's so, that's so weird No, to but me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if there's like a giggle during sex, like that's weird. It's like, I love you so much. It's like, I mean, too. But it's like, if you're like, <laughs> if you're just like hitting it and your forehead fighting, and you're just like, I fucking love you. And then like, I fucking love you too. And it's just like, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yo, I fucking love you. <laughs> I think it's hot. I think that's really hot. Sh- no, shit. yeah, just you got you got to say it aggressively. You can't say it like you're like reciting a haiku in front of the third grade class. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. You can't be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you can't I just say it, you can't say it cute like that. It's because weird. you only get so many opportunities dur- throughout the day to talk like that, and sex is one of them. Why not? Because I hate how there's this whole, like, distinction between, like, making love and fucking. Like, you can fuck and make love. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking is making love. I don't care. If you guys are getting each other off, like, that's just that's just what you got to do. Yeah, and sometimes it gets so, like, aggressive that when it's finally over, you're just, like, emotional. Yeah, dude. It's like, I love this person more. Like, we just ravaged each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, damn, yeah, we just went to battle. And That's no what one it is. won. It's just a clash. It's just a clash of titans. <laughs> it's a clash of the titans, man. You know that's what that's what the best thing about it is is that you know it's all fun and games. You know what I'm saying? This girl sounds like she just likes to get the shit beat out of her. Yeah, yeah, you know it's part of it too. But I think that also she has that same thing because she told me and like I lost my mind. She said that her boyfriend was like edging her for a month, and for those of you who don't know what that means. It means that you get someone right to the point where they're about to orgasm, and then you stop. 
So her boyfriend didn't let her orgasm for a month and then finally let her. And I was like, what happened to you? I actually told oh. her, I was like, I'm surprised you're alive. Can you imagine that? I couldn't imagine that. I don't. Th- I can't edge for two days. I've been trying to do this thing with uh, this. Uh... No, what? I, I, haven't, I, haven't been try- <laughs> I haven't been trying to edge, but mm-hmm. like, it's like, you know, there, I'm, I'm, you have to like when you take a, a, a sperm test, you have to abstain for like 10 days or something. Okay. For like max, oh, wow. like for like maximum effort. I'm jacking this thing. Yeah, I know. You're not. You're not. You know. You know, like I'm gonna be ten like, I'm, days. They're asking a lot of. Like I'm gonna here. send it in and be like, "Hey guys, sorry," <laughs> and then just like and like give it to them. But like you know, it's, it's it's. When's the last time? Do you think? Didn't you do no nut November once? Or we tried to, but you made it like no, nine I, days, and I made it like I, four minutes. I did it two years ago. It wasn't No Nut November. It was just like a random month. I like had a bet with uh, Ahmed. Oh. And he like bailed out after like nine days. Yeah, that sounds like Ahmed. Did you yeah, uh, but... did you just like pop a fire rope after? Not. Re- it wasn't. It's not like it builds up to the point where it's like <laughs> this thing. If you like hold out for a year, it's gonna be spectacular. Dude, I don't know, man. If it goes a couple days, shaking well, the yeah, block. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but. It doesn't get, like, bigger. Like, it gets to a certain point. No, there's more There's more volume. Right. But I'm saying, like, if you wait, like, five days and then you wait 15 days, there's not a whole lot of difference there. Yeah, I, I get that. But, like, a part of me would want to know, like, like what's the... do b- it on a scale? Yeah. Like, I, I just want to see it and just be like, oh, my God. Because that's like, that's like popping champagne. Now that I think about it. That's a great celebration after 30 days of no nut. And then you just get to pop the top. Yeah. Think about that. That's wildly insane. You get to do whatever you want. And by do whatever you want, I mean shoot a huge rope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But also I heard that women's orgasms are like way more intense and they're longer. Yeah. Because that shit's internal. Yeah. It's like inside. And it's like connected to... You know, I'll I'll take that class next. Yeah, yeah. And I'll yeah. learn more about that. But right now, all I have is that they're longer. So can you imagine just waiting out and then fucking setting it off? I'm surprised this girl didn't go blind in an eye. Just fucking scribbler town. Yeah, just like scribs. Just lose your minds. Think all right, let's get to these th- ads. <laughs> That would might that might be the most <laughs> sexual twenty minutes we've ever had on the show. Yeah, that was kind of intense, dude. I'm a little horny too. A little, dude. I'm gonna have to take a break after this. Shit. I I literally feel like I need to like, like, what the? Do you hear this? Wait, wait, is there digging? No, there's some dude out here just like starting up a goddamn race car. All right, <laughs> I'll fix. Right, gonna... That'll fix in post. Yeah, I'll I'll uh. I'm going to get to these ads real quick, and then we'll jump into something. I actually have something I want to talk to you about. Me too. Uh, Why do you whoa. always say it like that? Fucking scare me every time you say that. Every time you say something like that, I feel like you're going to fire me on the air. <laughs> I want to talk to you about something. By the I, way, see ya. There's something I want. To, I need to talk to you about. I'm like, great. Come into my office later. I need to speak to you, okay, at the end of the day. And bring a cardboard box of your things. Um. All right. Starting off the ads with BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online counseling. Um, you know, if you want to talk to a therapist, uh, licensed professionals who specialize in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, or anything like that, um, they have them on BetterHelp. Uh, if you're not happy with your counselor for any reason, you can request a new one at any time, no additional charge. Um, there's four communication modes. You could text, uh, chat, phone, or video, um, and you could start communicating in under 24 hours. Um, so, yeah, uh, you can go to betterhelp.com yard. And uh, you will get 10% off your first month with the discount code YARD. Okay? So if you want to start talking to someone, trying out therapy, uh, me and Danny are both in therapy. We find it to be very helpful. Um, so go to betterhelp.com slash YARD. Use the disc- discount code YARD for 10% off your first month. Okay? <clears throat> Next, we have Handy. 
And Handy is the leading platform for connecting individuals looking for household services with top quality independent service professionals. So if you need someone to put ah! it in Fuck! Shit. What the hell was that? God damn, dude. A fucking huge cockroach just came out from under this fridge. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God. You know what you could use? Someone to help you clean that dirty apartment that has cockroaches by using Handy. Okay, <laughs> Andy, um, you can go on Handy, get a, a, someone to come over to clean your apartment, to hang up things, or to help you with any sort of handyman work. Um, but yeah, it's been connecting people to professional house cleaning and other home services since 2012. Um, I've used it in the past. Uh, the, the, the guy who, um, you know, comes and cleans my apartment is through Handy. Um, but yeah, so... Uh. For our listeners, Handy has a special limited time offer. You get your first three-hour cleaning for only $29 when you sign up for a cleaning plan. Go to handy.com slash basement and enter the promo code basement. That's a three-hour home cleaning for $29. They are deep cleaning. You could put in that, like, I need you to do the windows, do the fridge, inside the fridge, the oven, everything. Whatever you need, they will handle it. Um, Handy.com slash basement. Enter the promo code basement. And three-hour cleaning for $29 with a cleaning plan at handy.com slash basement, okay? Uh, terms and conditions apply. Visit Handy's website for more information. Um, but, yeah, Handy, the most reliable name in household cleaning. All right? My, my Danny, bad. how you doing over there? I'm fucking I'm taking a pill. <laughs> uh, next, we have Liquid IV. Uh, Liquid IV is an easy, healthy solution for dehydration. I've been using it a lot because I've been running a lot lately. Sort of training for a half marathon but not really don't know if i can actually do it but if i get to a certain point where i'm like all right i can run eight miles and maybe i could do a half marathon then i'm gonna do it but it's been super humid in new york so staying hydrated is going to be super important when i'm going on these long runs liquid iv kind of helps with that instead of drinking all this water and whatever i can have a liquid iv and uh it's packed with vitamins b3 b5 b6 and b12 and um it actually hydrates you quicker and one of these servings uh, provides the same hydration as two to three bottles of water alone. So saving me time. And uh, they taste amazing too. They have three flavors. Uh, right now I'm crushing the passion fruit. Or what is it called? The ber- something passion berry? I don't know. Some passion in it. It's passionate and it's great. The lemon lime, we, me and Danny have tried before. It's also good. That's my and favorite. And then there's the acai berry is the other one which I don't even know if I've had that one yet, but the passion fruit's fire. <laughs> um, Liquid IV is available uh, nationwide, Target, Whole Foods, Costco, um, but you can go to liquidiv.com, use the code BASEMENT at checkout. Uh, 20, 25% off anything you order when you use the promo code BASEMENT at liquidiv.com. Uh, but yeah, use the promo code BASEMENT, 25% off, get hydrated, okay? I apologize. I'm, I, I'm, I was fl- I'm very flustered. I, yeah, I could tell. You scared the shit out of me. I scared the shit out of you. Yo, you. The worst thing is when you see them out of the corner of your eye, and you know it's there, but you have to turn and see it. And I was yeah. like, God damn. And when I jumped up, he bounced. Well, you already, you already know what happened when we saw a cockroach at my old apartment. Oh, that yeah. clip has been documented on Base New York history. God. Why are they so scared gross? The shit. They fly so down quick. here. They fly down here. Ew. They fly, dude. Uh, Floridian roaches. I've been watching. I've been watching this guy kill iguanas on YouTube from South Florida. When I tell you, first of all, seeing an iguana run is the craziest thing. The way they run is so funny. They're like back and forth. Yeah, like this. This guy killed a iguana. Wait, why do you kill iguanas? They're not even dangerous. Are they dangerous? They're considered like rats down here. Iguanas? Yes, they're cons- they they ruin uh like crops and shit. Like that's their like you can kill them with no punishment down here. I couldn't even kill an iguana. It's too big for me to like you know, know be able to stay. What do you do? You cut its head off? Yeah, you either like cut its head off or shoot it with a BB gun. Like people kill them all the time down here. Murderers. Well, it's legal here, but yeah, but they, like they even murder. a mouse, I can't like step on it. I oh, gotta, I've like, killed get a rat. Trap. I've killed a rat. I think I've I know, told you're that story. A sick person. No, I, I know you told me you like picked it up and you grabbed it or something. Yeah, I picked it. No, I picked it up by its tail and sl- smashed it. 
broke yeah, its you're neck. Yeah, you're, you're a sick, sick person. No, it was in my house. Rats are pests. There's a difference between pests and animals. I'm sorry. Of course, rodents... You know, I'm, I'm not going to pick my fucking dog up and swing him around like a goddamn, you know, a, a pinata bat. But, like, you know, <laughs> if there's something in my house that's not supposed to be there, like a cockroach or a rat or an iguana at this point, I'll, I'll take I'll, t- I'll go there. I'll go to the brink with you. Why can't these things that pop up in our house be cute things? I, it would just be like, like a why precipice. can't like a puppy just be in like, oh, my God, a puppy. And then you'd be like, oh, this is actually kind of nice. There's a puppy the in here. It's like, but it's, it's got to like, be a it's, roach? It's got to be a roach. But it's some people find roaches like not threatening, which is wild to me. Like people yeah, will, like freaks. have a they'll have a roach and they'll think like, "Oh, hey, like this is an animal." Oh my god. Yeah, hi. No, I'm good. Thank you. You're the most jumpy man right now. What happened? Housekeeping just came in here. Oh my god. God, dude. Can I can I just work? But I'm trying to get afraid. I got to cut all, all over this episode now. <laughs> Getting scared and shit. God. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Fuck. Talk about something. <laughs> <laughs> no, yo. I'm going like to back to back scared, yo. Just off the top row both times. All right, you know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to blow your mind. All right, blow it. <laughs> Talk to me nice, alright. Talk to me nice, dog. Um, did you know? Jesus. It's impossible to hum while pinching your nose. <laughs> like closing off your <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me see some. Hold on. <laughs> Bro, with your mouth closed. <laughs> it popped my ears Yeah cause the, it, the air needs to escape In order to be a hum You can only hum for a certain amount And then it explodes your mouth Your mouth's open you cheating bitch Close your mouth <laughs> you It is go, <clears throat> Oh my god I almost passed out is Isn't it, that is weird it, Is it possible to like keep your eyes open when you sneeze too Is that a, Or is that a myth can you, yo, I would be so intimidated if you're just like staring at someone and they sneeze and they didn't even blink. I'd be like, God damn, dude, like you're a gangster. Can I ask you a question about uh, old YouTube? I've been watching a lot of Ed Bassmaster. Uh-huh. Um, was he around like the same era as you? Yeah. So you guys, did you guys were ever in like correspondence? No. But he was a gigantic like YouTuber. He was huge. Yeah, and I was not, so, like, we would never be. You were? You had two million followers. That was, like, three, two years ago, dude. We're talking about, like, in 2012, he was big. What was 2013, he? 14, whatever. Bro, his bits are some of the funniest ever on YouTube, I think. Yeah, he's fucking hilarious. Would you look at he's- it? Mumbles. <laughs> testy. Always testy. One of my favorite guys ever. Yeah. And, and- a dollar? <laughs> And one of my other favorite ones is putting you on the news. What? What do you thought? I'm putting you on the news. Oh. <laughs> I'm putting you on the news. So, like, who were, who's, like, the, on the Mount Rushmore of YouTube? The Mount Rushmore of YouTube. Uh, me? No. <laughs> uh, Jenna Marbles has to be up there. Okay. Um, I would say Ryan Higa. Don't know who do that is. Do you know is. who that is? He's a he was a gigantic YouTuber and like I'm only putting him on the Mount Rushmore because I think like he was gigantic at a time, you know, and like he kind of was like the OG at like creating these like sketches and was like super successful at it. Okay. So I, I would put him up there. Um, Marbles Higa. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Those two stand out in my mind because when I was like first starting, like they stood out as like Jenna did this thing and she was like the only one who was super successful at it. And then he did the sketch thing and and he was like the one that stood out to me the most. And then I guess you would have to put like, I don't know, bro. Yo, honestly, you might have to put like Logan Paul on there. Yeah. Because although people like don't like him, but it's like, yo, this dude like crushes. Yeah, he crushes, and he cr- kind of 
created this thing. Oh, Casey Neistat's up there for sure. Oh, yeah, Casey. I forgot about Casey, yeah. Casey is definitely up there. Um, but, yeah, I, I think you might put Logan Paul up there. That's a, that's a, that's a powerful Mount Mar- like That's a good four. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely for me, like, Casey's there, and so is fucking Jenna. Like, yeah. those are the two that are a lock for me. Um, but, yeah, you might you could throw Logan in there. I think just because, like, who's bigger than him on YouTube in the modern day? Like, no one. No one, no. No, you're right. So he'd probably have to be there. And how long has YouTube been up? Dude, I have no idea. Was it around, like, 12 years ago? Do you remember the first YouTube video we've ever seen? Yes. So do I. What's yours? Mine was uh, p- 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 what's the what's it called when the hamster turns around? What? It's like the evil hamster. It's like uh, bam, bam. that was your first video. That was like my first video. Yeah, bro, my first video on YouTube ever was a video of oh the mom- evolution of dance. That was the first one I ever saw. Oh, that was a big one. That was a big viral video. Yeah. Um, the first video I ever saw was a video of a monkey, right? And he's sitting on a branch, and someone's filming him, like with a home video or whatever. And he uh, is just sitting there, and then he digs into his ass, right? And then he takes two fingers and puts them under his nose to smell it, and then he just falls off the branch. <laughs> Swear to God. Dude, I'm going to try and Google it so that people can watch this if they haven't seen it because it's a great video. But it was the first video I saw, and I was like, oh, my God, YouTube is awesome. I need to know what you're watching. Before that, it was like E-Bombs World, right? Yeah. Look, m- funny monkey faints after smelling his own ass. But this says it was uploaded eight years ago, but that's definitely not true. Because I saw this video. I almost want to send it to you, but I don't want to, like... It's 22 seconds. Yeah, look, he's digging in his ass. He literally puts two fingers inside of his ass, smells it, and he goes, oh! Monkey smells ass fingers. No. <laughs> yep, I got it. Yeah, dude, look at how he passes out. It must have smelled... Horrific. Oh, that's a big monkey. Oh, oh yeah, no. it's a. It... Oh no, no, no. Okay, all right. Watch. He's fingering his ass. Now watch. He passes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not amazing. It's an amazing video. Oh man, now it's showing me monkeys react to magic. I love watching monkeys react to things. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> I've never seen. That. You never seen a monkey react to magic? No, I didn't know magicians go into the zoo and like pick a card. Yeah, like they do card tricks and they're like, <laughs> like they'll literally be like, "Oh my god, like where is it?" It's wild. Damn. Oh, so there was something I told you I want to talk about dads. We both had kind of like you know blue collar dads, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who were always tube sock. yeah yeah tube sock dads. Um. Have you ever really just thought about, like, back in the day, how many, like, borderline illegal things our dads would do? Like, not be in the mafia or, like, kill anyone, but, like, my dad would drive with, like, a suspended license. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. You know what I'm saying? And, and, like, every time they would get pulled over, they would be like, you know, hey, it's coming back that your license is suspended. And you'd be like, what are you talking about? Since when? completely knew his license was suspended the entire mm-hmm. time was just yeah. gonna my dad at one point was just gonna go through the rest of his life with a suspended license he just didn't get it renewed no wait why was it suspended or did it expire it expired and then okay it, i think after a while they suspend your license because you have to like after a certain amount of time i think you have to retake the test and he didn't want to t- retake the test so his license got suspended and he knew it, and my dad was just driving around with a suspended license. Yeah, we had illegal cable. Remember illegal cable? Yeah, illegal cable. It's like our dads yeah. are like these like beacons of like, listen, you got to do the right thing. All right, now I'm gonna watch the Spice Channel when you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but all the uh, Mike Tyson pay per views are free yeah, in this yeah. house. <laughs> yeah, okay. tell your friends five bucks if they're gonna come watch the Tyson fight. All right, it's like you know, pay per view we don't pay, but we view. <laughs> Okay, we definitely view, but we don't pay. Do the right thing. <laughs> was your how, uh, dude? My uncle Joe had a black box, and we, we used to watch so much fucking wrestling. 
on this black box every every Sunday. I used to watch mad porn, dude. Once I discovered the Spice Channel, I was like just getting a glimpse of that channel. Like I'd be like, oh, I'm just flicking through. My mom would go into the kitchen for a second. I'd go right to channel 65, and I'd see Bush. Yes. And Spice <laughs> Channel was just the beginning of like, if somebody would have told me, like if my future self was there the first time I watched Spice, and you just like tap, I would just tap myself on the shoulder and just be like, just wait till the shit you watch when you're 25. Yeah. <laughs> you know what because I'm saying? They, it was so weird how porn back in the day was like a production. Like they had, like now they just get like, you know, they rent a house in Miami and they cover each other in oil and then we fuck. But like back then it was like, we need Kenny G to come in here and play sax yeah, and while gonna... we like slowly dance and make love at the same time. I feel like the porn budget was so big back then. Yeah, dude. They were like, it was like an art form. You know what I'm saying? And like, you never really saw penetration, but now it's like, I, I see People stretching their fucking assholes open. I'm like, damn, I, didn't, uh, yeah, I don't even want to see that. It's like the evolution of, like, athletes. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was like yeah. the NBA back in the 50s and 60s. Everybody was white. Now it's like everyone's just jumping out of the gym, dunking and shit. That's what yeah. pornos. Porno has also grown on its own as well. Yeah, like, yo, Pete Maravich would have got his ass kicked in the league this year. Yeah. <laughs> like, he played <laughs> this year, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know. Are you gonna but tell I, you're gonna tell me Jenna Jameson can keep up with like anybody these days? Yeah, like a Riley Reed. You think she could keep up with Riley Reed? <sighs> no, dude. No chance. Dude. I'm telling some you. Some of these some of that is disgusting though. So like I don't understand dude, that. A, per, a, a majority of it is disgusting. Yeah, you but have like, to not understand like a good, that disgusting. porn is yeah, like it's sad, gross. Yeah, but I'm like, like I just like I just don't get when people like stretch their assholes. Yeah, and it's like I don't want to see your butthole come out. Yeah, like why is it reversing? Yeah, like this isn't doing anything for me. I'm gonna skip I this. I really don't like when porn stars' asses like come out and then like it looks like a baboon's. Who's that for? Are there people that are like, ugh? Yeah, dude. People love that shit. Yo, you got to think, as 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 freaky as you or I ever think that we are, there are people out there that just put us in the fucking dirt. Oh, yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't doubt Disgusting that Disgusting freaks. Disgusting. Yeah, I mean, there's people that are into, like, throwing up on each other and stuff, you know? Like, that's just, that's a heavy day there. That's a heavy day. That's a, that's a, that's a night. That's a night and a half. That would make me so sad. If somebody was like throw up on me, I'd be like, "Why? Why are you talking like this?" <laughs> I, I would stop would mid-stroke. <laughs> I would stop I would mid-stroke be like, and be like, no. "Sit down. Let me talk to you." Yeah, I guess so. And man. I feel like that is it's never the first time. There's no first time for getting thrown up on for some reason. It either happens by accident. Yeah, it's got to be an accident at first. Yeah. And then you go, "Let's just hang out in this puddle of puke." Yeah. And then you both find out that you enjoy that. But also, like, all the rich dudes in, like, Dubai, like, they like to shit on people or get shit on. Yeah, but they pay for that. That's different. Yeah, but I feel like once you're so rich and you can have... You remember when I had that theory where I was like, if you have enough sex, you become gay? Yes. So I also think it's like if you have enough sex, you you become, like, into shit. Well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even... I think that's what the whole argument with, like, Jeffrey Epstein was in that documentary, like, Filthy Rich, like... Like, that guy is just a freak. Yeah, I mean, well, he's on like the most extreme scale. But like, I agree with you that money makes you into weird shit. Once you can get whoever you want and pay for whatever you want, not necessarily illegal stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like once you can pay for whatever you want and do whatever you want, it's like, oh, you see, like if you're fucking, uh, I don't know. Look like Leonardo Let's, DiCaprio. He has so much money, he'll just get a boat and put 25 women on it. Yeah, and women that he'll just, like, scroll through Instagram, be like, oh, she's kind of hot. Like, I'll just fly her out, and she'll say yes because there's no thought. Like, she'll just say yes, you know, and bring her hottest friend also. Like, she'll just do that. So once that becomes that easy, I guess it, it loses its shine. So you're like, what else can I do here? And that's when you start with the porn where the girls are, like, stretching their butts open and, like, you know, putting golf balls in it. I've literally seen that before where a girl held her asshole open and a guy chipped a golf ball in it. It was a great shot. And had I been watching, had I been watching ESPN, I would have been impressed, but I was like, you know, half naked. 
Uh, so I wasn't really happy about it, and I, you know, it ruined everything for me that night. But <sighs> the point I'm trying to make is that eventually you graduate to butthole golf, and then you move on. You move on, and then you regress to, like, a little bit. No, I th- and then I think you start being like, well, I'll get a guy in here, and then like you know, it starts to become a little gay stuff, and then you know. <laughs> crazy shit man like then you start throwing up on each other and then like you start cutting your own chest and bleeding down yourself and you start using blood as lube and whatnot like i don't really know like the gateways but like there's a lot of shit that happens if you have enough (laughs) sex so try to keep the sex to a healthy like amount because you don't know where that could lead sex is a gateway drug into like dirty sex (laughs) stop It's true, bro. Like, get, yo, sex is a gateway uh, drug so to funny. like crazy, uh, sh- dirty shit, dude. I, I honestly feel that oh way. Oh my god. 100%. Like, yo, I'll be, like, yo, there's someone out there. Like, I think everything's <laughs> possible. Like, I really think there's someone out there that's like, yo, like they can't have sex unless there's like a bird in the room. You know what I'm saying? Like weird shit. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, this whole diatribe is so fucking funny. <laughs> you won't stop talking. I'm serious. I really feel this way. This is like a real theory, man. <laughs> Just like you and your socks, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The passion in your voice for this ridiculous topic was Dude, so funny. I'm I'm not done. It's like heroin. <laughs> like when people do heroin for the first time and they feel that high and they're like, oh, my God. So they have to keep trying to do heroin. It's like that. <laughs> it's like, oh, I did a weird thing and it was dope. So now I got to chase that or I got to top that. Let's get a bird in here or, or like all these iguanas and fucking what's it called? I want, a, I want a toucan stare me in the eyes as I come. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm sure. Oh. Holy fuck, dude. You okay? I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, I really can't wait to edit this to see how long you were just talking right there. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna have. It's gonna be a tough clip to cut. Oh, Josh, go for it, bud. <laughs> yeah, I, I oh bet you know, it's crazy, man. And like, honestly, doing other people's lives kind of like opens my mind to the fact that like, if you have thought about it, someone else has definitely thought about it, tried it, and loves it, and yeah. probably can't live without it. I feel there is no original thought when it comes to sex. Yeah, it's like there's everyone's mod- tried. There's just modifications. Right, people have tried weird stuff to the point where people are stepping on each other's balls with oh, stilettos. Yeah. Oh yeah, which I'm not into. All, all but... ball torture shit is so fucking weird to me. Yeah, dude, nah. Like I'll I'll put a rubber band around my balls, like, but that's as far as I'll go. What about you? Nah, you'll get shit in your ass. What? You would take you would take it up the uh, up the butt. Why would I do that? I feel like I feel like OPL is gonna make you gross. I mean, I've been doing it for nine seasons. I haven't gotten banged in the bum. I'm not saying yet. banged in the bum. I'm talking about playing in the backyard with no parental, you know, guidance. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's it's one thing to to like you know fiddle around, but it's a whole other thing to dig into my purse. What do you mean? Like straight get pegged or just like tap, tap, boop, boop? Okay, getting pegged is a whole other thing that won't happen for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not my thing. Not going to dress you up with Bro, male parts. People would pay top dollar to peg you, son. I think people would love to peg you. Nah, 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 nah. Why me? You, you got like a peggable face, you know? Yeah, like people, <laughs> like you're you and me, like on the peg market. It's like I'm a specific like niche. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to have like you've you've had to already have pegged before to to want to like graduate to me. Like I'm like a final boss. You you're more of like a like innocent. Like yeah, let's just do it. But they would like love to peg you. I gotta change my face, dude. I'm telling you, I gotta the- change everything. You you would do very well in the peg market. I know. You've looked into it. No, I could just see it in your face. You have a very peggable body. 
I don't want to get pegged, man. I wouldn't be good at it. No one would enjoy it because I'd just be complaining. Ow. Yo, I'd be the worst, dude. Like, I'd be, like, the worst. I would have to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be one of those girls that's, like, you know, you got to, it's got to be, like, there's got to be candles. It's got Like, I would have all these, like, prerequisites. Yeah. It'd be, like, uh, the scene in 40-Year-Old Virgin before he's about to, like, jerk off. <laughs> like, tur- like, turn all your pictures over and shit. Yeah, yeah. God, this episode is getting flagged. Yeah, no, we're not. Yeah, it's, you know. Yeah, I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> just, I didn't even say a it thing. Fidget, fidget monster, you know. What are you doing this weekend? Um, nothing. I'm just kind of chilling. Tomorrow I have to run eight miles. What? I'm trying to. So what I was saying before, like I, I'm there's a Queens Marathon is August first, so I'm training for that, but I'm not training for it yet. Being like, I'm gonna do it. I'm Wait, when following is it? A, it's August 1st. August 1st. So I'm following a program right now because they have programs of like they tell you what to run each day so you'll be in shape for a half marathon. <laughs> so I've been following it. Here, I've been following it and tomorrow is an eight minute, eight minute, an eight mile run. And like, I don't know if I can run eight miles straight. I would have to slow my pace down tremendously. But if I can do that, like tomorrow is going to, I'm going to decide if I could do it or not. What's the weather like tomorrow? It's like pretty decent. It's not going to be super hot, but um, Bro, it's supposed to be like 75. You need to get a really good night's sleep. Like yeah. hy- hydrate today. Well, and, yeah, I've been hydrating like crazy. Your, pre- your pre-run your pre is going to be so fucking important. Yeah, I'm so fucking like worried about it. The other day I did four miles and then I was like, I felt so good. But I was like, like, I could have gone further, but I was like, all right, cool. But then I was also thinking about like, yo, double that. Like, how the fuck am I going to do that? You could do it. You could do it. <laughs> I'm going to try. But how do, you um, like, how do your legs feel today? I'm okay. Like, my body's pretty tired, but it's also because like, I've just been at a caloric deficit on purpose. So I'm. You got to eat tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I have less, a little less energy, but I feel fine. Like my body's not like super sore or anything. And when I run for the most part, like I'm good, but. We'll see. I don't know. If I can run eight miles tomorrow, though, even if it's like an 11-minute pace or some shit, then I'm going to sign up. That's huge. Because it's like four miles after that is like whatever. What what time are you doing the run? I don't know. I wish I could just... Probably in the morning. I wish I could just follow you with a drone. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Do you have a playlist set up? (laughs) Yeah, but... What's the the first song you're going to listen to once you hit the road? (laughs) Oh, I don't really do that. I have a playlist and I just shuffle it. So can, whatever. Can we pick a song? Let's pick a song. Uh, Made You Look is a big one for me. To start? I like to put I, it like... I think that's like a mile four song right there. Yeah. Like it's it's for me to be like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> I think like, that's the first song that should come on when you're like hurting. I, this whole run needs to be like angry music for me. Because like the other day I did I did three miles and like three miles isn't that hard for me anymore. So I like to put on especially if I'm doing it in the morning I like to put on like relaxing music. Right. To be like you know whatever. Um, so I like to do that. But there's other days where I just feel like if I'm going for speed and it's gonna be tougher then the music has to be like rougher. That's why I like made you look because that song like I get hype when that comes on. Bump. Yeah. Just from the jump. Now let's get it all in perspective. I'm like, oh, I'm out of here. You should get the remix too with Ludacris. That's a good song. Don't stand half a chance like Siamese twins. <laughs> Bars. Um, I don't know how people exercise with no music. It's so weird to me that you could be Shocking. that mentally like focused and, and locked in that you'll just like run. There is something though about running that like uh, don't make don't make no mistake. I I wouldn't be able to do it, but. There have been times where I started a run and then my headphones will die. And then when my run's over, like I didn't even really notice. Cause it's like, when you run f- far enough, you eventually just get in the zone and you're like, I just can't stop. So I just 
you don't really try to think about anything else. And that's the hardest part for me. That's why the eight miles is going to be so hard. It's not really because of my body or because of like my lungs or anything. It's just the mental toughness to just keep going. Because I always get so bored. Or I feel like, why am I doing this? I don't need to do this. Or like, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you have to get past all that and just keep going. Yeah, but I hate that it's a part of like, you have to have the physical too, though. It's not just like something that, you know, mentally you could do it. Right. But I feel like, I mean, absolutely. But I feel like at this point, like I've been running pretty consistently since the quarantine started. So I'm in like pretty good shape physically. And like, I'm able, I'm definitely able to run eight miles right now. It's just, can I mentally last or it's like you you know when i'm running sometimes i'll start thinking about like damn my ankle kind of hurts a little bit or i'm um, starting to get a little cramp and like that stuff will psych me out and then i can't and then i just stop or some shit you know you know what they say that if you're able to sit on the floor um like without using your hands and stand up without using your hands it says like you're you're like gonna live a longer life Can you do it? Yeah. I don't see why that's super hard. Like, can you just get up any way you want without using your hands? Well, you know, it's like Indian style. Try to do it right now. Okay, what do I have to do? All right, so what you have to do is... you Just need sit to, Indian style and then stand up? You need to, like, squat into sitting without using your hands. So yeah. it's like, you know, you squat down into Indian style, right? Uh-huh. And then you sit, and then you stand up with no hands. So you sit and you stand with no hands. But like, can I like, like if I'm sitting Indian style, can I like shuffle my leg out and like stand on a knee, or no. I just have to stand straight up? You got to go straight up. All right. Well, you can't see this, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell me when you're down. That was very easy. Yeah, so that means you're going to have, like, it, it's a it's a true thing. I heard about it. It shows about, like, the longevity of your life. Like, that's a huge test that they do for people. I wonder why that is. Uh, I'm, I'm looking it up right now, but I know for a fact it's true. Um, what would Sitting I say? Sitting down and standing up. Sitting down, no hands, longevity. I don't understand how anyone can't. I mean, unless you're, like. Bro, there's a lot of people that can't fucking do that. But just sitting down is so easy. I don't know. A variation of the classic chair test, uh, which doctors have long used to assess leg strength and lower body fitness in seniors. Uh, da, 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 da. The test is simple to grasp. If not, hold up one second. I'm just trying to say why. What the fuck? I'm trying to find it. It's all good, bro. How long will I live? Simple test. Here it is. Middle aged and el elderly people needed to use both hands to get up. So standing up with no hands basically gives a doctor. How do I put this without reading all this mobile jumbo? Gives a doctor a great idea in terms of where your actual physical health is. Well, I guess like if you can do that, then like your hips have to be good and you have to have like strong legs and you're not like super overweight or something yeah. because if you're super overweight, getting down would be hard without just like crashing into the floor yeah. and then, and then getting up in that way is like tough. So it's like, <laughs> you... yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> get doing it. Do this. Like that. Yep. And then do that. Right. Some people can't do that. Yeah, I'm sure that's, I mean, it's tough. I want to see if, now that's just going to be the challenge. I'm going to ask how many people could, can do it. I want to see if somebody can't do it. When you go on the Basement Yard Radio, you make people do that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. When, when this episode drops, I'm going to do Basement Yard Radio and test everybody. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, our Instagram is at the Basement Yard. Um, and usually Danny will go on and do this Basement Yard Radio where he kind of like reviews the episode and kind of has people on the Instagram uh, live split screen. It's usually once a week, so it's it's Friday now. So it'll be to, it'll be tonight or tomorrow. I yeah. usually do them Friday or Saturday. Yeah. So basically, our there. radio, where there is no radio. But anyway, I think we can wrap this up. Gosh. Where can they uh, find you? 
uh, at Danny Lopriori on Instagram and Twitter, and also uh, OnlyFans. Yeah, I have an OnlyFans. I have an OnlyFans now. Okay. OnlyFans.com slash Danny Lopriori. Uh, Jumping penis? Sh- no, no penis. It's uh, it's it's comedy based. Okay. Uh, so like, I'll be having like some live Q and A's on there. Um, some like sketches and like some music stuff that I'm gonna be putting out on there. And it's free. Nice. So it is free. You don't have to pay. Um, just come and check out my OnlyFans. You can follow me on OnlyFans. And right. I and no one's gonna see my dick until Sorry, guys. Un, until I start charging. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys can follow me at Joe Santagato. Go check out the show on uh, Instagram. Like I said, at the Basement Yard and our Patreon, patreoncom slash the Basement Yard. You get every episode a week early, and you get uh, the morning meeting um, every morning. So, yep, that is all. See you guys next time. Bye.